This is Gary Atencio with CNTV, and today we're just outside of Woodland Park, Colorado. I'm here at the Edgewood Inn, 9,250 feet above sea level. This bed and breakfast and mountain wedding venue has been the home away from home for those who want Colorado mountain style. I'm here with the innkeeper, as well as the owners. Folks, thank you so much for joining us here today. Let's start off, first of all, you began this brand new 2012, um, but quite honestly, I imagine this was a dream many years in the making, or possibly something you just decided to do all of a sudden. Share with me a little bit why you decided to create a place that was really a, a retreat for a lot of people to get away from the, their busy lifestyle. Well, both Kathy and I um, were from Minnesota originally, and um, we like to entertain. And um, Kathy's side of the family has had connections to this area. And when I married into the family, I, uh, I got to experience Colorado and, and really enjoyed the four seasons that we have here. Wonderful. So you basically brought him into Colorado here. You had some ties here. Let me ask you, I mean, a lot of bed and breakfast, they probably have beautiful photographs or pictures of mountainous views. You don't need that here. You guys have the windows. You have the real thing. Why did you decide to place it here on the ridge with beautiful Pike Peaks? It just fell into place. It, we kept coming to this spot and this kept saying this is home. And so we, we started to build here. One of the things I notice here is the fact that we're talking about you're really, you're really sharing a part of yourself with others. This is your home. Artifacts throughout the home actually show um, certain parts of your past. Share with me some of the things people might find here around the home. Well, we have family pictures that date back to the early, 18, early 1900s. Um, we have a roll top desk that we inherited through my parents. Um, bookshelves. Um, Kathy's side of the family, there's a violin hanging in the music room that goes back to um, April um, of 1896. Her great-great-grandfather um, played that violin in Cripple Creek the night it started on fire and burned to the ground. Um, That's amazing. Let me ask you this. As the innkeeper here, obviously, it's a busy, busy lifestyle out there. We're very hectic society. Why do you think it is people long to get away? And why is a bed and breakfast really a good fit for that? Because um, it's the perfect place to get away. You can literally just forget the rest of the world. Um, you feel like you go into your own world here. And um, it's very relaxing. And a bed and breakfast is really perfect because you don't even have to worry about feeding yourself in the morning. You can relax and it becomes home for you away from home. It's wonderful. I mean, quite honestly, I got relaxed already just getting up here. I mean, the travel up here was beautiful. Woodland Park is known to be above the, above the clouds here. You guys took it to the full level here. Let me ask you this. Obviously, it's a beautiful home you're here. Um, old is in again, as you say. Share with me some of the rooms that you have for folks. Well, we have the Forest Edge. It's on the main floor, just right inside the front door. Uh, it, it'll sleep too. It has a um, bookshelf from my grandparents and a rocking chair that we inherited from Dean's sister um, and the bathrooms right across from it. The loft is above the garage. It's what we typically call the honeymoon suite. Um, it can sleep four but you know, if you're here for a, a wedding you're not gonna you're not gonna sleep four up there. Um, and it also has a, a lawyer's bookshelf that I inherited from my family. Um, we have, on the lower level, we have the log cabin. It's in the house, but it looks like a log cabin, and right next door is the outhouse. Um, it's one of the nicest outhouses you'll ever find because it has running water and a shower. Um, on the other side of the house, there is the peak's view. Um, that explains itself. It's all windows. You see Pike's Peak. And then the Aspen Room, which is our smallest bedroom, um, and that the Aspen Room and Peaks View actually share a bathroom, but the bathroom is designed so that it, it makes it easy for sharing. So You definitely have something for anyone here from the loft to the cozy cabin um, and everything in between. Although we've got a, a touch of vintage and really it looks like we stepped into the 1900s here, we haven't skipped on amenities because really you built this from the ground up. I mean, was it nice being in full control of the luxuries you could offer or even the space knowing that you're gonna be providing guests here? 
Well, it was. Um, we targeted a, a, a specific time period, um, 1900 to 1920, the early arts and craft, um, if you research it. And we stayed true to that uh, with the five panel doors. The trim package in the house is all quarter saw and white oak time period, the transoms above the doors, um, the raised um, baseboards, the high ceilings. Um, we disciplined it ourselves to, uh, to stay true to that time period. Wonderful. I mean, obviously, this is a place to get away from it all. And if you love nature, this is the way to do it. You guys have over 3,500 square feet of really walk around view. And when you walk out there and take it all in, you're not only being a part of it, you're really immersing yourself in it. Is that something folks seem to enjoy? Oh, absolutely. And we even back National Forest um, right out the front door. Um, a lot of good hiking there, and um, it's nature and mountains all the way around. Wonderful. I mean, like you said, we're talking about hiking, biking trails close by, and obviously we're really close to Woodland Park as well, which is nice for folks who want to get down there. I always like saying if you want to go down and watch a movie, you could always do that, but you guys even took care of that. You don't have to go down for a movie. Share with me something you have unique. We have uh, room for 12 people to watch TV, movies. Um, right now we have Netflix. Um, we have over 150 movies in, in our CD player. Um, you can bring something in if you can't find it, what you want to watch on our list. Wonderful. I mean, obviously it's a bed and breakfast. We've talked a lot about the bed here. Um, you want it to be more than just lodging. It really is your home. Tell me about, we have to talk about the breakfast part. Um, obviously, you really created this area here for the kitchen to be the heart of the home. And obviously, almost combined with the gathering, was that important for you? Uh, yes, it is. We, <laughs> we like to have people helping us, or at least talking to us while we're making breakfast. Um, and we like them to feel like they're at home. It definitely has an open feeling to it. When folks come down and gather, obviously you've got uh, different areas. Are you able to actually have breakfast out on the, on the deck there when the summertime provides? Oh, absolutely. Um, we, we prefer to serve out on our, our large deck. Um, um, Pikes Peak is, is the backdrop of um, their, their breakfast. And uh, in the summer, we have um, loads and loads of hummingbirds up here. And uh, it's, it's just a great spot to, uh, to entertain. Wonderful. I mean, let me ask you this. The area itself is, is beautiful. You've got the Cog Railway. You've got a Pikes Peak. What are some of the other places folks can go here nearby? Um, we have uh, Red Rock Canyon in Colorado Springs, and there's actually a Red Rocks open space um, down Highway 67 north of Woodland. Um, there's incredible amounts of history here. Cripple Creek is a historic town, and that's just up the road, um, as well as floors and fossil beds. Um, you can actually go dig for fossils there, and um, or apparently not anymore. <laughs> uh, plenty of things to do as well. Uh, you create up a, a family-style breakfast in the morning. Share with me just a, a touch of what people can maybe expect on the menu, possibly, or a favorite that people have commented on. We, um, being from uh, the Midwest and from a farm, it is a Midwest farm breakfast. It's uh, homemade hash browns, um, French toast, um, bacon or fruit, um, it's a, a very substantial breakfast. You, um, you can leave here and it'll carry you well into the afternoon when you're out hiking. And obviously the evening has to be beautiful here. I mean, Colorado, this part of Colorado is really pollution free, uh, stargazing out on the deck there, a uh, glass of wine. People have to really enjoy just taking a brisk walk here. They do, and it's really nice to be able to go sit on the deck in the summertime and watch the stars. Um, it's, it's like you can almost touch them. They're that, they're that bright and you're that close to them. I believe it. I, I, was, I was amazed when I walked in because of the fact that I just, I, I didn't speak to anyone. I was just kind of drawn to the back here where it's beautiful. I mean, it looks like a very picturesque. Viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. On the website, first of all, you can book right there online. Or if you'd like, give them a call. They could set you up right there. You can also take a kind of a tour there of the different rooms they provide. Everything from the spacious loft, which is a great honeymoon getaway, or possibly if you'd like to sleep for, it's spacious enough to do that as well. You've got the cozy cabin and everywhere in between. This is truly a step back in time with a vintage touch, but we're talking about modern amenities. Totally, um, you're going to be bathed in wonderful wonderful luxury, I mean, when you're out here. I mean, it's a luxurious place. Let me ask 
you this. Speaking of locals that are around here, um, obviously this is a great place for locals to spend a wedding. Are we able to have a ceremony here as well as a reception? Yes, you can. Um, all you need is somebody that can officiate for you. We can handle up to 150 people. Um, you can have your groom supper here the night before. You can have your wedding and then the reception and social hour and everything. And not only that, but you don't have to leave because you can go up to the loft. You've got a honeymoon suite there as well as each one of the rooms for um, your favorite guests as well. Anyone out there who has never tried a bed and breakfast before? Possibly they don't understand how it works. Uh, possibly nervous to come out and try it. What would you tell them? Um, the house speaks for itself and um, they will feel like it's their home. Um, we show them where the coffee cups are, where the coffee maker is. Um, they just move in and it is their home. Let me ask you this. This was a, a dream for you, basically come true. How does it feel when you read the reviews and the thank yous from people um, that are, have left? We're pretty humbled. We, we have fun doing what we're doing and it seems that it's everybody is having fun when they come here so wonderful take a look out there at the reviews you've got all kinds of them um, you've really homed a lot of people here in a short amount of time um, folks out there that want to actually book up how how far in advance should you do that or are there a certain time of years that or it's a little bit a little more busy well during the summer i definitely recommend booking during the middle of the week um, we are pretty popular with weddings over the weekends um, over the winter and the fall and the spring, uh, you can book any time. And we've taken reservations as soon as an hour in advance. Hi, that's great. So if you've got an urge to get away, you can do that. Give a call and grab a room there. Viewers, last time, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. You're going to see their website. On the website, you can find all about the booking. Give them a call. They will set you up and make sure you're going to take really a, a place here in Colorado up above looking over a beautiful ridge, 3,500 square feet of beautiful deck you can walk upon. We're talking about really making it feel like you stepped back in the 1900s, but you've got great amenities and breakfast that um, you're going to love as well. Once again, that is the Edgewood Inn located here in Woodland Park, Colorado. This is Gary Atensu with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know. Jake and Telly's Greek Taverna has been bringing delicious and innovative Greek specialties, Greek specialties to loyal customers for over 13 years. Brothers Jake and Telly strive to make their patrons feel like part of the family by offering a comfortable and scenic setting to enjoy the home cooked delicacies made from recipes passed down from their family. With a large creative menu and remarkable wine selection, be ready to enjoy a succulent meal you won't soon forget. Canine Rehabilitation and Conditioning Group leads the industry of animal rehabilitation and our caring team will help your dog or cat to feel stronger, move better and get back into the game of life. Our rehabilitation experts are leading the industry of restoring quality of life to geriatric, injured, overweight, post-operative and neurological or otherwise compromised dogs through physical therapy and integrative veterinary approaches. This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Monument, Colorado. I am here at Bella Casa. Since 2008, they've been providing distinct home furnishings and accents for folks across the Front Range here. I'm here with Lindy, who is the um, interior designer as well as owner. Thanks for joining us here today. Let's start off a little bit about yourself. I mean, 2008, you started the shop here, but close to 20 years you've been helping folks in interior design involved in this industry started a shop you're a recognized parade of homes decorator share with me a little bit how this passion got started for you 
Gosh, I don't know. It's just something that I have always enjoyed. I started out years and years ago in the antiques business, actually, and going to different antique auctions. Um, I had a space that I sold them from uh, in Texas and did that for a number of years quite successfully. I, I learned a lot about how to buy, how to um, decorate, how to display. So that was a lot of fun. And then we moved here in uh, January of 2003 and um, just kept working in the design field until then and then in 08 I was able to purchase this store. That is wonderful. Let me ask you this, we, we all have homes that we want uh, folks to enjoy, mm -hmm. really that are an extension of ourselves and even better when they walk in and go, wow, I love this piece that you got or I love what you've done. That experience of saying, wow, I love everything in here, that's something that happens quite often when people walk in this store. Is that kind of a neat thing? I hear it every single day. People will walk in the door and say, oh my gosh, I could buy every single thing in here. Or when I win the lottery, I'm going to come in and buy you out. So every single day I hear comments like that. And it, it is really fun because I, I take so much pride in how the store looks, but I also work really hard in picking out items for the store. Um, you know, I don't want something that they're going to see every place when they're out shopping at other stores. I want to have unique things that people can come here. I want home accessories and gifts that people will really enjoy buying for their friends and for their own home. Wonderful. I mean, the store is an extension of you. Each item here is hand selected by you. Where do you get some of your wares from? Uh, there are two major markets that I go to, uh, Atlanta and Dallas. In fact, I fly out tomorrow morning to go to Dallas for several days to go to market. They're major, major markets, probably millions and millions of square feet. Um, probably 20,000 showrooms to walk through. Obviously, I don't go through all of them, but there's a lot of editing that has to be done. Uh, there's a lot of bad stuff out there, and I have to pick and choose through all of that and find the, the pieces that I really like and really want to bring into the store. That is wonderful. Obviously, the store is it's packed filled. I mean, every inch is you can find something there, but the thing is, if you don't see it here, you can find it. You actually are able to uh, customize the approach and find items for folks. Is it kind of fun, that hunt part? It is, and it is really fun for me when I know people, especially when I've been out to their home already, and so I know their style, I know what they're looking for, and I can go and I can say, okay, don't worry about it, I will find it for you. And I am able to do that for people a lot of times. And a lot of times I'll, when I'm at market, I'll take pictures of things, send it to them, get their approval before I even bring it back. So that works out. Obviously, the custom approach is something that requires a consultation. You provide an in, really an in-store consultation right here, free for folks. What are the type of things you listen for when you're speaking to, to clients? Well, I, I do in the store, but I also do in home consultations. And um, so, for instance, yesterday when I was working with somebody and we were looking in their living area and needing new furniture and new accessories, and my first question was, how do you use this room? and what 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 do you see what do you want this room to become because they need all new furniture they just need a whole new arrangement so i try to listen to people and find out how they want to see the room i don't want it to be something that is that i'm telling them okay i'm the designer you have to do what i say i want it to be their home it's it's for their family and their home and for their enjoyment Wonderful. I mean, so folks out there, if they want to redo a, a room in their home, or for that matter, redo the entire home, there's really no job too small or too large you won't take on. You go in the actual home. These are in-home design services and really take a lot of, take away a lot of the stress and the overwhelmingness of, of folks wanting to do something like that. That's exactly right. For so many people, uh, the woman yesterday said, I've spent days and days and weeks just standing here trying to figure out what I want to do, what paint colors to do, what where to make changes changes and within two hours we had a whole new plan. She was so excited. She's going to start painting today. We've got furniture we're ordering. So it's just really fun and it, it just does take the stress out of it. That is fun because obviously the fun begins with we've all looked through books before. We get inspired. We see some great pieces but behind each one of those spaces is a lot of budget planning, mm -hmm. space planning, color coordination. These are all the pieces that you're able to put together. Uh -huh. And so many people also feel like they've made mistakes in the past. 
by purchasing something, they get it home and it's just not right. It's too big for the space, it's the wrong look, it just doesn't work. And so a lot of times I can help them save money by not making those mistakes and getting the right look, the right, you know, at the at the first time Do it out. Right the first time. Yes. You can actually save a lot of folks there. That's absolutely right. Uh -huh. I mean, we're talking about the color of the paint on the walls, window treatments, and uh, fabric. These are all things that you can help pick out as well. Yes, I can. And um, it's a lot of fun to do that and work with people. And I love to see the before and after and how happy they are afterwards. And the fact that, so for instance, if they just do one room one time, a year later they come back to me and we do another room, and a year later another room. And I've got people I've been working with for years and years, and we just keep going at it <laughs> until we get It's got to be fun for you to see some of the changes as well um, of things that you worked on in years in the past. Mm -hmm. um, original art, floral arrangements. I mean, this is, this is also a showroom for people to pick out of and actually choose a, a retail, but it's also a great place to find a gift for, for anything, really. I do carry a lot of gift items. In fact, a lot of people say, I don't shop for gifts anywhere else but here because I know I can find something perfect for whoever I'm buying it for. And we have beautiful packaging, our bags and our tissue and ribbon, so they can walk out of here with the gift ready to go. They don't have to take it home and then gift wrap it. It's ready to go. The walls are done. The conceptual design is in place for a room. You actually are able to even order in furniture, um, custom upholstered furniture. Those are some pretty big undertakings. It is, but it's fun to work with people and come up with a whole plan so that they're not trying to find one sofa here, a different chair there. You just can't do that. It's better to start from scratch and do it right to begin with and, and pick out a whole ensemble for somebody and have it all right. I mean, it's a blank canvas for you when you walk into a space. We're talking about side tables, um, the accents, um, tables, lamps, everything put together. And so when you walk in, you get the same wow factors you do when you walk in the store. That's right. And another thing that we really specialize here are our original oil paintings. We have a great, great supply of those. I hand pick out each one. So I work really hard on that, and people know to come here for their original oil paintings. And they're great. They're beautiful. They're really fun. I look around and I see we're talking about pottery, candles, accents, uh, a lot of great color. According to the testimonials out there, this is really a place that um, folks can really indulge in the shopping experience. <laughs> they can indulge, and a lot of times, um, you know, they'll walk in the door one day and just find things that they love maybe not by that day, but they can't get it out of their mind, and they, then they come back and they say, okay, I, I've got to have that piece. And my motto is, if you find something you love, you can always find a place for it. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is her website. First of all, on the website, you can learn a little bit more about her approach. Um, it, we got a retail shop here as well as in-home design services that are provided. You can sign up for uh, an e-letter there as well. Check them out on Facebook. She'll keep you aware of some of the new products they have coming in featured products. Um, you can also see there are some of the events that they take part in as well. I mean, obviously we talk a lot about interior design, rooms, kitchens, you name it, places, but exterior design is something that's is, is got to be big. We're talking about garden areas, patios. Is that is that some of the areas as well? You know, we in Colorado love our outdoors, <laughs> and so it's really, really fun to do that outside the patios. Um, so many people are spending more money and more time on their decks right now, so it is really fun to do things like this, to have all kinds of outdoor yard art and just fun, fun things for the garden. These designs are an extension of you, yet like you tell your clients, it's all about you. You're, you're really open to listen to what they want and then really they're using you, your years of experience to kind of hone it all in and, and make it magic. I do. I really try to do that and I want the customer to be happy. That's the most important thing for me is for my clients to be really happy and to love their home. I want them to be able to come home each evening and love being home, walk in the door and just being happy. I love it. Last time, viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. You're going to see her website. Um, this is a place for basically a monument's favorite place to go shopping. Um, remember, she basically wants you to have a home that you're proud of, that you love. When you walk into, it'll be a reflection of you. That is Bella Casa, located here in Monument, Colorado. This is Gary Atensi with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.
Until next time, if you know of a business who you feel the whole city should know about, nominate them, we'll send a reporter out. This is Gary Atencio from CNTV, and if you don't know, now you know.